Did you press the button? Hey, boss? Yeah, it's me. Listen, you can't come in. No, I'm sick. Yeah, I know I was sick last week. I'm sick again. Like, real sick. What kind of sick? I mean, like, I, I can't tell you. Because HIPAA. HIPAA. Because, like, HIPAA laws, like, I'm not allowed to tell you. That's the doctor said. He gave me all these papers. And he was like, he was like, HIPAA laws. Do not know. I mean, no, I mean, listen, I'll go to jail. It's like a misdemeanor or like a federal offense. I'm not sure. It's one of the. No, it's, no that sounds. It's, uh, it's like the TV's on. Yeah, I'm watching like it's one of those relaxing channels. It sounds like the ocean. <laughs> we're switching up. It's supposed to ease. Whoa, because of my sickness and stuff. So, oh, all right, I gotta go. I'm real sick. Sorry, I can't talk. Gotta go. Oh, God, I gotta go. Uh, you see these birds right here? There's a couple of them there. They are diving down. There goes one. Did you see him pop right in there? Right after that breaker right there. That means there's something there they're going after, right? I'm fishing a little too far out, so I gotta like get my line in there. Hey, we're fishing. It's this Thursday before the first weekend, or the last weekend in March here on beautiful Oak Island. The sun's shining. Put down the daughter. She's reading a book. The sun's down there with the dog and the girlfriend, so everyone's doing something this Thursday afternoon. We have put out a shark line. What are we thinking? That bad boy's out there. Do we really think we're gonna get a shark? No, we don't. We got a piece of mullet on it, but you know what? We're just we're just hoping. You never know. You just never know. And we got a little bite here, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna check out what's on this rod, and we'll be back in a minute and tell you all about what's going all right, on. We got one. We got a whole bunch of them, but they're they're very good too. Best eating fish here. On the beach, right there. So if you want, look at the bag. Look at them all in there. Whoa! We're gonna fish good tonight. Good catch, Alex. At least someone's getting some fish. This is the definition of getting skunked. Right here. Nothing tonight, not a thing, not a nibble, not a bite, not a silch. This is all you get, but you know what? Even this, if you aren't fishing, is better than anything else I would have done today. Saturday morning in the surf, pretty calm, pretty day. I accidentally grabbed a squid by mistake, but uh, you know what? One cast, and in about two seconds, <laughs> the puffer were on. So they don't seem to care. Uh, and if they don't care, I don't care. So we'll keep trying it and see what happens. All right, here's something interesting. Got a puffer. It's a little too small, though. He's going to go back. I like my puffer's a little meatier. All right, I was fishing down over here, and I was kind of catching them. Oh, go back in, little puffer. For the wave. Go, oh, it's going in. Okay. And uh, the waves were just kind of coming up. And back at first it wasn't doing that and I was catching fish and then it just started doing it and then I looked down at the beach here and what I noticed and you probably can't tell but I'll just draw it in the sand is that one wave was coming and it was doing that and another wave was coming and it was doing that and there was like this rush of water going out and I said to myself not only that but I noticed the birds which had been there kind of migrated down here so I'm fishing in front of those birds where the water's kind of going in and out, and as soon as I casted, I caught another puffer. So, I don't know. Well, I guess if we want to know if puffer likes squid, they do not seem to care if it's squid or shrimp. Matter of fact, catching two at a time, so I guess they like the, uh, the squid. Oh, there you go. This guy's a little small, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna wait for him to finish, finish doing what he's doing there and see if he's big enough to keep or not. I might keep a couple of these because they're good eating. You know how you know if people like to eat them or not? I call them puffer. Puffer tastes delicious, but other people call them toads. And I'm not going to eat a toad, so I think people who call them toads might just not like to eat them. That's just my non-scientific scientific thing I'm majiggy.